So I wanted to know how much I can read for 24 hours. Unlike my old reading vlogs, this is me timing myself every second that I read. And since I wanted to reread a lot of my old favorites, I combined the two challenges. And so here we are. It's day one. Or I guess book one. So I'll actually be starting with War Cross by Mary Lou. So I remember having so much fun reading this one. It was very popular in around 2018, I believe. And it's a pretty short book. I remember it's a very fast read. I haven't reread this even once, I think. So this is gonna be good. Let's see if it's still gonna be as good as I first read it. Oh, and it's also around 3.40 right now, and I'll be timing everything, so yeah, let's get started. When I wake up in the bed, same old roof over my head, you will never hear me complain. Cause it's just a second long walk to my favorite place on the block, where I always go to escape. Honestly, I forgot how charismatic one of the characters in this book is, and it's just so freaking good. It's so freaking good. Hello, so I've been reading this for 45 minutes, and I'm on page. I'm on page 115, and honestly, this is just such a freaking fun book. It's definitely a world that I would be interested in being transported into. It just has this like very cool world and yeah, excited to read more of it. Don't want to contravene and take what we got off the screen. I kind of like the old routine. Let's stick to ones and o's. I hate to break binary code. We'd make the system overload. Hello, so I finished reading War Cross and I read this for an hour and 40 minutes. So I still like it, but I definitely see the flaws more, I guess. Its side characters are definitely just side characters, they're not that developed in the story so i guess that's that's the bad thing for me but it's a simple fantasy i guess so it's fine and now i will be trying to read another book i'm thinking of reading scythe just because i want to prioritize this and see if i want to continue the series because i haven't read the toll yet because a lot of people have said that it's not good i could read this but it's pretty thick and it needs a little bit more brain power or i can read this stalking jack the ripper so i like this a lot before as well but it's i don't know if i should save this because i have a lot of fantasy that i need to get through and this is a good like break from that and then i can also definitely try reading red queen by by victoria aviard you don't understand how obsessed i was with this book series like i was literally obsessed with it in like 2018 2019 i don't know but maybe i should read this it's fun it's a fantasy I was obsessed with it, but a lot of people hate this book, so I'm kind of scared. Maybe I'll hate it too afterwards. Okay, so I am definitely super excited to reread this, but before that, I will try to make an iced coffee, even if it's freezing and I'm wearing a puffy cardigan that I crocheted. Wake up in the bed. Same old roof over my head You will never hear me complain Cause it's just a second long walk To my favorite place on the block 
now i realized that i forgot a lot of details about this book so it kind of feels like i'm reading it for the first time again except i have this big idea of what the world is already and who the characters are i'm remembering some of the characters and yeah all i know right now is that there's mare and there's this guy what's his name it's not even here but yeah, there's Mare, there's this prince guy that's gonna come up, obviously. I think his name starts with a C. Obviously, I forgot a lot about this series and it's good because it feels like it's new. Hello bestie, so I've been reading for 3 hours and 30 minutes and I read Red Queen for around 2 hours. Yes, I'm finished with that and honestly, I'm surprised that I read that that fast, like 2 hours, but then I already read this so I guess it makes sense that I'm gonna be able to read it faster than I did probably the first time around so anyway thoughts it's still a very fun book it, it's like typical fantasy where there's this main problem it really reads like older fantasy with kind of like the same formula as the other fantasies in during the time that this was probably published and I guess now I see why people will hate this there's a lot of cringy parts that as someone who has read more fantasy books I recognize now that this isn't like the best so if you're reading this at this same point in your life where you've read so much fantasy like so much genius great fantasy books i guess this would be very underwhelming and some of the characters are quite cringe <laughs> but to someone who loved this the first time around i haven't read much at that time and so i appreciate i appreciated this more before but now i can still appreciate it because these are the characters that I've I've already loved and I legit was super obsessed with this series so I don't regret giving it five stars the first time around but now I'd probably give it like a 3.75 I don't know so yeah three and a half hours we finished two books and now I'll probably read is it stupid to read this at night time because it's a little creepy but also Scythe is creepy as well so I don't know okay maybe let's read this oh and it's also what time is it 12 35 still not super sleepy so it's fine I forgot there's creepy pictures in this one and I'm seriously doubting my choices. I mean, 
do I really need to see this at midnight? It's probably not gonna be as bad as I think it is, but it's still creepy. Oh my god. I accidentally stepped on my freaking Pokemon. Oh my god. Oh, that's a shame. This was a pretty one as well. I'll just use this one so I don't get scared. Jimin will protect me. So I've been reading for 4 hours and 20 minutes in total and it's 2 o'clock and I'm feeling quite sleepy so I'll probably make some bulldog ramen Hello everyone, so it's 3.40 a.m. and I finished stalking Jack the Ripper and it's still freaking freaking good. I already know the ending obviously because I've read this before and I still managed to be engaged and to be curious about everything that happens in this book. So yes, still such a good book. And then now... I will be reading Scythe next, so this is a dystopian book, and honestly, I didn't know that I would be alive still at this time of day, but here we are, and I can still read Scythe. And the total hours so far is 5 hours and 15 minutes, which I don't know how I pulled that off. <laughs> Three books in five hours, that's crazy. everyone so i've been reading for around six hours and i've been reading scythe it's the next day by the way i was so sleepy i woke up at 9 a.m so that was four hours of sleep and i'm reading scythe i've been reading this for around 35 minutes and honestly it's so freaking good it's at it's as good as i first read it maybe even better because now i have more tools to understand and to appreciate the prose and the story and this is just such an insanely genius book in my opinion and i guess now i'm seeing that the reason why I love this book so much is that it talks about or it shows morality and what's good, what's bad, how do you distinguish right from wrong. And when you're reading this, because this is a dystopian and obviously things are different, situations are different, the environment is different, you just have this kind of, you have to adjust your beliefs as to what is right and wrong and i guess yeah that's the most that's the most 
amazing thing about this book to me and i love the i love the addition of um scythe curie's journals in this i believe it's just scythe scythe curie and it shows you the mental processes it kind of walks you through how she thinks about the situation and it makes you kind of empathize and be able to be validated for thinking the same way just such a freaking good book anyway but i've been reading this i think slower than the other books but we'll see how long i'm gonna read this yay yay exciting exciting it's been seven hours and 20 minutes and i finished scythe it's still amazing still a freaking masterpiece read this book <laughs> and now i was originally going to read paper towns by john green but i think this isn't my vibe anymore i don't think i like this anymore so i won't even try reading this one so i'll probably read strange the dreamer this is the last book from my original pile of books that i wanted to read for this challenge and there's still a considerable amount of hours left so i'll probably read other books as well don't want to contravene and take what we got off the screen. I kinda like the old routine. Let's stick to ones and o's. I hate to break binary code. We'd make the system overload. I can't decrypt it all, but our software's on. Let's keep it digital. Hello, everybody. So, the last time we talked, I think I was able to read four books and I was on my fifth one. And since then, this has been my read books. And it's only been, hold on, hold on. It's only been. 10 hours and 29 minutes and honestly by the ninth hour i thought that i would be able to read three books maybe but then somehow i heavily underestimated myself and i went through my initial list of books quite quickly so i initially just planned on reading these five books and now I've run out of books to read, so I read the sequel to Warcross, which is Wild Card, and I obviously such an enjoyable read as well. And obviously, of course, I read Strange the Dreamer. Again, amazing. Who doesn't like weird, dreamy stories? Anyway, I seriously considered stopping the challenge because the goal was to reread my old favorites and i'm running out of old favorites but then again it's a challenge and i want to finish it yes so we're gonna move on to like other stuff Mo mostly sequels but yeah i have this stuck for the next 14 hours is this gonna be enough at this time, it's are the books gonna be enough for the hours and not the hours gonna be enough for the books. It's totally opposite from what I envisioned. So the books that I'm planning to read are Thunderhead because I've rekindled my obsession with the Scythe series. It's just such a freaking good fantasy. No, dystopian. It's such a freaking good series. And then probably the Poppy War. I just read The Burning God, Emotional Damage, but The Poppy War is better. It's my favorite. And Hunting Prince Dracula. And lastly, 
The Lost Hero. I read this multiple times, but it's fine. So I, I initially wanted to read Thunderhead first just because of the scythe brain rot. It's just, yes, you know what I mean. But then if I read this now, I'm not gonna have the next book. And I've ignored the existence of the toll for years now. I still don't know if I should read that. So maybe I should just keep Thunderhead for later. So I'll just read this one first. It's just gonna be a cozy book, I think. can have my nanites like adjusted that would be nice though hello everyone so book number seven is done i read this for two hours and 20 minutes and honestly i think i like this more than the first book probably because it has more like gothic themes which i am partial to and yeah this was just more complicated than the first one and I just think the atmosphere is so much better or maybe because the author has improved as well. I don't know, but yes. Finished this and I didn't even remember all of the scenes here from reading it the first time. So it felt like I'm reading it for the first time again. So yes, I read this for 2 hours and 20 minutes and then now I'm actually reading Thunderhead. And I've actually only have a few pages left and I've been reading this for 1 hour and 40 minutes. Honestly, I like Scythe better but this is interesting too. With the iPad closed so I can see how many hours I've been reading. I feel like it's been 14 hours. So this is book 8. I don't know how I'm gonna read more but yes. Hello everyone, I finished Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman and honestly what the hell just happened? That is crazy. I don't remember that that's the ending of it and that's how everything wrapped up. And now I kind of want to read the toll now. Even though I've been avoiding reading it because a lot of people hated it and literally as as you can see this is one of my ultimate favorite series books ever uh, i'm scared i'm honestly super scared of reading the toll because i think there's a huge ch chance that i won't like it because it probably won't have a lot of scenes with citra and rowan Ugh. and also i just realized i bought this for very cheap or is that how much inflation there is now books are so freaking expensive but ugh, i don't know i don't know how should i read it also as you can see we're at 1456 there's still roughly nine hours left and as you can see i actually read thunderhead faster than hunting prince dracula although i think 10 minutes of this is actually for thunderhead because i forgot to like lap it so yeah, interesting, interesting. When I wake up in my bed, same old roof over my head, you will never hear me complain. 
Cause it's just a second long walk To my favorite place on the park Where I always go to escape So I never need to roam To a home away from home Cause I'm fine right here on my couch And if I'm learning with my friends Where the night is gone everyone so i finished reading the son of neptune and honestly this is probably the book in the series that i haven't reread like as much as the others i think because i remember reading the lost hero a lot so i decided to read this book from the series because i absolutely loved this series like don't get me wrong i love the original one as well like percy jackson and the olympians but this one i grew up with it i literally was reading it while it was being published and it was just such a fun ride and reading about Rome and the new characters in this series is just so freaking good and yeah I didn't know that I enjoyed it this much as I did before does that make sense but definitely this wasn't my favorite of the series but now I really 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 appreciate and love it so yeah freaking percy jackson percy frank and hazel those are my people so all in all i read 11 books for this reading vlog and i had so much fun even though it was so exhausting it was just tiring for my brain but yeah it was just so much fun so i read red queen which was still good but I guess it's not that good now <laughs> and then war cross which was super fun and still unique and then I read stalking Jack the Ripper which was so atmospheric and still so much fun to read and then the fourth book is scythe which is still my favorite I love it so much and then strange the dreamer by Lainey Taylor still so good it's just so magical I love this book so much and then I read the sequel wild card which it was fine again not my fave then Prince Dracula also very atmospheric and then Thunderhead which was I mean I guess still as good as Scythe and then the poppy war I mean, come on, she is the moment, she is a legend. And then Lady Midnight didn't love it as much as I did before because I was obsessed before. And lastly, The Son of Neptune, which is my fave. Just amazing. So yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching. It's been a long, long ride. But yeah, as you're watching this, it's actually been, I think, a month after this because... I just edited it so slowly. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Welcome to Oh, baby, first.